Morris sisters, in between U.S. national team stints, pursue CAC title with St. John's. Midway through the first half of a tight contest against good counsel, St. John's forward Malia Morris picked up the ball at midfield, cut past a couple of defenders, then stopped on a dime. Looking up, she spotted her sister, Makina, making a run up the far sideline from right back. In the next second, she'd sent Makina with a perfectly weighted pass, effortlessly switching the field with one stroke of her boot. Makina received the ball in stride, darting up the wing with a combination of speed and feather light touch that would make any defense tremble. The play didn't result in a goal, but it's this kind of awareness that makes the Morais as one of the most fearsome girls' soccer duos the area. Aside from their deft technical abilities, the sisters possess an uncanny ability to find each other on the field. Their coach, Alison Diaz, calls it a sixth sense. You see them playing together and they know each other, said Diaz, who is in her first year at the helm of St. John's girls soccer team. They've been playing together for so long that they just read each other like a book. It's an understanding that's been years in the making, dating back to the sisters' first years playing youth soccer at Bethesda Soccer Club, when they were coached by their mother, herself a former soccer player. College coach has already coveted her for basketball. Then they saw her play soccer. Since then, they've continued to train together and push each other to be better both in team practices and at home in their yard. Their progress has led them to virtually the pinnacle of their sport for their age, from all met honors with St. John's to impact roles on Bethesda SC's prestigious elite clubs national league teams, and even to youth national team call-ups. So far this fall, Malaya, a junior, and Makina, a sophomore, have tallied a combined 22 goals and 17 assists for St. John's helping the cadets remain the only undefeated team in Washington Catholic Athletic Conference play. Through it all, they've stayed motivated by a pure love for the game, and the joy of sharing it with each other. If I was ever down, the first thing I wanted to do was go outside and kick a soccer ball, or do something that made me better in my sport, said Moya, a junior and preseason All-American who leads the cadets in scoring. Having a built-in training partner and support system doesn't hurt. We always trained together, and always find time just to pass and do anything together, said Makina, a versatile two-way player who switches between defensive midfielder and outside back. Though they admit that their home training sessions can get pretty heated, both sisters agree that these are some of their most valuable hours spent on the ball. And they're always able to keep things friendly, while still being competitive. We're super close, Malia said. Right when we step on the field, we're business, but we can always joke around. All she ever knew was America, this high school athlete had a plan. Then Daco was rescinded. It's a good thing they get along so well, because between home, high school and club soccer, both play on Bethesda SC's under a teen ECNL team, they're rarely apart. In a couple of years, they'll be playing together in college, too. Both sisters have already committed to Clemson. But although they have their college choices made, things aren't slowing down for the Morises anytime soon. Besides high school and club commitments, Malia and Makina have both been called up to play with U.S. youth national teams. Makina most recently traveled with the under-16 national team to play friendlies in Germany in September, and will train with the under-17 team later this month. Mully attended training camps with the under-18 national team earlier this year. As their coach, Diaz is mindful of the challenge that such commitments present. Speaking of Makina's recent trip to Germany, she said she's had to be careful not to overwork her star defender. I think for her to have that experience, she's going to go away with a lifetime of memories just from that alone, Diaz said. So it's a challenge for me, but at the same time, Thinking about how I was as a player, I wouldn't want to take that away from her at all. And although the girls agree that the travel can be tough, they wouldn't trade the experience. It's hard sometimes getting all your schoolwork done, and keeping up with everything, Makina said. But it's a lot of fun, so it's worth it. Added Moya, you're just living out a dream that so many soccer players want to do. I know when I was little all I wanted to do was play on the national team.
I wanted to be someone that other people looked up to. So being able to be that kind of player, it's a big deal. The sisters are bringing this same attitude of positive leadership to their roles as St. John's. Malia stressed the importance of leading by example as the cadets, who finished runners-up last year, continue their quest for conference championship glory. She added that Diaz's arrival has been instrumental in giving the team more focus and direction. We know the feeling, after the championship game, and how it felt to lose and not be on top, said Makina, referring to the St. John's 1-0 loss to Paul VI in last year's title game. So I think a lot of us are bringing that with us this season, to just really fight every game, so that we can go to the championship game and change the results.